Hello, everyone. Welcome to this introductory lesson on support vector machines. SVMs, as they are called for short, are a popular type of supervised machine learning algorithm, which can be used for classification and regression purposes. In the case of supervised classification models, we aim to arrange objects in two or more categories. For example, if we have images of different domestic animals like cats, dogs, and horses, then we would want to implement an algorithm that can identify which animal appears in a specific image with a high degree of certainty. In addition, classification can be used for simple yes or no tasks, such as predicting whether an online bank transaction is fraudulent, Thanks to information from past behavior, the bank has data on the amount of money a client typically withdraws, the time of day they do so, and their primary location. So based on this data, an algorithm can be trained to assess the likelihood of fraudulent transactions. In such a scenario, the purpose of a classification algorithm is to divide the different classes in the most optimal way possible. Support vector machines tackle the issue by creating a hyperplane that maximizes the distance between the classes. Besides classification, the other type of supervised ML is regression. In this case, the values we're predicting are not limited to categories. We want to predict real numbers. When we use characteristics such as age, work experience, and skills, to predict the salaries of a group of people, based on data about others similar to them, we use regression analysis. Here, the support vectors fit the data again using a hyperplane. But what's different this time around is that the algorithm isn't looking for an exact match, instead allowing some points to be misclassified in order to reach an overall good solution without overfitting the data. What makes support vector machines most interesting is that they're not limited to building linear classifiers. Instead, they can be used to solve nonlinear problems with the so-called kernel trick. By utilizing a different kernel, support vector machines can fit a variety of data distributions like radial, polynomial, and many others. That's also the main reason why support vector machines are so popular in the machine learning community, their versatility. Another great advantage they have, as we'll see, is that they're fast predictors. In addition, support vector machines are powerful enough to work well in high dimensions. But it's not all great news. And as with any machine learning algorithm, there are certain disadvantages to working with SVMs we need to consider. The main one is that they're not easily interpretable. Due to the complexity of the algorithm, especially when working with different kernels, it's not easy to understand why the support vector machines have made a particular decision. So if you're looking for a highly interpretable algorithm, something like a logistic regression or a decision tree will be better suited for the task. It's also worth mentioning that although testing on new data is fast, training for support vector machines can take a long time. All right, it's important to be aware of the strengths and weaknesses of each machine learning algorithm. As you know, there is no free lunch in machine learning and no best machine learning algorithm. Knowing how an algorithm performs in different settings will help us choose the right learner depending on our needs.